it's so painful to watch that Giants game that I had to today. That game was so painful to watch. <clears throat> um, kind of, um, I'm stuck between playing Survivor or Killer because there's only a few days left of reset. But I'll just keep going. I might do a little bit of both today. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Hook 12 survivors in the basement. What's up, everybody? Glass splinter. Black splinter. Hmm. Well, behavior, why don't you buy these back, okay? You know, like, what are they going to do? They're going to sit here and do nothing? playable during a gilded stampede event well is there going to be a gilded stampede event again because if not buy them back hello everybody we're here we're playing some dbd we're having some cocktails now the Giants game is over. The Giants season is over. And no behavior. My first game of the day is not going to be up against a full man swift playing on PC. I'm sorry. I just won't put myself through that stress, you know? It just ain't worth it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. today in my robe not just my robe I'm dressed I got my shirt and my albeit I have uh, comfy pants on because it is chilly today a lot of ice a crap load of ice Ugh. got like easily an eighth inch of ice covering the cars because I didn't park them in the garage right so, bye. Have a beautiful time. So I didn't put him in the garage. We got ice on him all night, all day. Oh well. Actually, surprised I'm not having issues with the stream. Yeah. What are we playing here? Agitation, barbecue, Iron Maiden. Uh, nothing to slow Jens down. So.
Oh, boy. Game's loading up pretty quick, so that's good. Mm. But let's see what we can do. First game. Oh. Uh. What's up, dog? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yo. What is this? He just like, he insta DC'd. He's like, fuck this shit. Iron Maiden? Um, Iron Maiden? Um, Iron Maiden? She gave up on a hug. <laughs> Yep. So now I know she's got the... Uh... Now I know she has uh, that shit perk. <laughs> I hear you 
just de use the DS. There you go, sweetheart. <sighs> hey, little girl. There you go. Get them both injured. That fucking David was pissed. He was mad as shit. That <laughs> David was mad as hell, boy. <laughs> I wonder if he stuck around to see what my perks were. There's no way he's hacking, he's wall hacking. There's no way he could tell I was there right then. <laughs> you ran right at me, man. Oh, uh, did I get two of that time? Yeah, all right, three to go. Damn, that was funny. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. That was funny. Funny, 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 funny. Oh, man. I don't know, that was just kind of wrong, the way that went down, but I needed basement hooks, I can't really, um, I can't really lay off. I need basement hooks, I need to get these rift challenges done. Mm, that is so tasty. Increasing the distance between snack official hooks. I am ordering a new chair. That's that. I'm just ordering a new chair. Plain and imp. Oh. 
Oh, this map sucks. I haven't had it in a while. I don't know what the hell I got stuck on. Good dead heart. This one's done too. map is trash. I gotta get over here so I can get some kind of barbecue value. I don't know where anything is on this map, so... Me trying to get upstairs in a hurry isn't gonna happen. Yeah. 
I'm not surprised by this at all. I flicked. <laughs> Map is horrible. <laughs> Pretty much zero you can do on this map as this killer. Too slow. Give her DS. Just get the points and or don't. I got three. I got three.
brand new part with a sabotage toolbox. That's intelligence at its best. Why? Why would you waste a brand new part on a toolbox like that? It's a sabotage box. And you're running a hacksaw. doing Muppet mm. yeah I couldn't really leave Bill there much longer he could have just unbreakable that out here I didn't get anybody in the basement cuz I'm not even gonna try to find the basement on that map I hate that map with a passion with a passion. Oh, the giants are horrible. Oh, the giants were horrible this year. So glad the football season's over. Now we just look forward to watching Dallas lose the first game of the playoffs as they always always do so cowboys I say unto thee you better party hard because the only enjoyment you're going to get out of this postseason is actually making it to the postseason I've already got my bet in on Vegas Dallas loses the first game. I don't even care what the point spread is. It's a wrap, Jack. It is a wrap. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's a murky regent. Take this. Oh, you took that. Well, then I'll take this and this and these and this. And you can see I'm building up the old crow mama a little bit. <clears throat> I'm trying to find better perks for her. Um, obviously, barbecue one's not going to cut it. It's something, though. The Legion? Do I play Legion? Yeah, let me play a game of Legion to get that done. Oh, what am I going to run? I'm not going to run nurses. What are we doing here? Your territory supplies to affect the whole map. Increases duration by 2.5. Netflix broken. Hmm. Hitting a survival deep and long field prints decreases the deep wound timer by five seconds. Decrease the cooldown. Increase time for survivors to mend by two and a half seconds. Decrease feral frenzy cooldown by 0.6 seconds. Okay. Uh, let's run that guy. I'm going to take nurses off. Um, I gotta try to get him to the basement. Do I have? I don't have agitation. I don't even care if I have agitation one. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. It's probably only like, I think it's 14%. Well, it's better than, than not. Iron grasp one. So you're gonna see this now. Um, Iron Grasp is going to get used. It's going to it's going to have to become killer meta if they follow through with you know with this boil over effect. Now you pretty much have to use Iron Grasp just to get back down to a normal wiggle. So now yeah, we'll run Bambizzle because I can still go through the window, but they can't. I don't have much with him. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I don't want to run Dying Light. Dying Light would help. Um, do I have Thanatophobia? I guess I could run Dying Light instead of this. And I don't have barbecue either. Still? Alright, well, let's just go for the one, I guess. If I can get into the basement with him, then it's... <laughs> a bonus. Let's go for the four deep wound. sure what I want to do for dinner tonight. Not sure what I want to do for dinner. I'll tell you what. Four man on console. Yeah, let's just go, guys. Come on, I want to get this done. We're ready up. I don't really care what you bring. You know what? Let's increase the duration. duration by two if that two and a half seconds gets me to the next survivor to get a deep wound on him then it's done its job <laughs> there you are all my nice little survivor mains present for you Sharing the love with all. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. Whether it be productive or restful or just make it through breathing. <clears throat> big map, big map. I'm going to need that extra two and a half seconds on Feral Frenzy. I'm looking around like I got Lethal Pursuer again. That was a tree. <laughs> oh, silly David. You're not supposed to go for a flashlight save right there, bud.
Where the hell is she? Stop touching totems. <laughs> Two more to go. Hey, you big stupid. Not the right move, bud. Not the move, buddy. Not the play. Not the play, kid. Here, you can come down here and you can join her. Putting my, it's putting the terror radius all over the map. That's why I'm doing it. Davo's not going to go get him. Hey, hey Davo, I'm proud of you, fam. Ooh, come here, you. 
Come here, you sassy little fella. For you, Bill. I'm coming for you, Bill. You're just hiding. You're not doing anything, Bill. <laughs> no soup for you, Bill. What are you gonna get it, Dave? Ah! You gonna get it, Davo? Are you gonna find it? Find it, Davo. Find the hatch. Find the hatch, Davo. <laughs> mm, there was the Michaela. I need another cocktail. Cool. All right, let me go make another cocktail real quick, because I'm due. And, um, yeah, give me, like, three minutes. If I'm even that long.
See you in a couple.
I had to carry the doggo uh, into bed. She's got a... Uh... Rescue three survivors from the hook with Bill Overbeck. <clears throat> Guess what? We're going to play a survivor game. What do you think of that, huh? We're going to play a little bit of Huff and Puff. Bill Overbeck, Huff and Puff. Let's go, Captain Huff and Puff. Okay, so we gotta do some hook saves, so let's run this. Mm. Run one of those guys. Maybe do some altruism here, so let's whip that out. Giggity. I not have yes I do dead hard that's how long it's been since I played bill borrowed time um spine chill borrowed time we're gonna farm dead hard ready up we're gonna be waiting a while I probably could have done this before I went up to make a cocktail I should have thought about that Select the challenge. Let's do this quick. I haven't been on the queue that long. Be chased by the killer. Let's back this up some. Fall from a great height while being chased eight times.
There we go. Yeah, so decided against going to New Mexico this week. There's just too much going on at work. Uh, I got a new person starting who's supposed to start uh, leading the department that I'm in right now so I can focus on my job, which is supervising the entire facility and getting things. I got some programs and, and um, projects in, that are just sitting in limbo right now because I've been focusing on f just taking care of the department, and now it's time for somebody else to do that so I can focus on my job, which will be great. It'll be nice to finally make some strides in what I was you know, promoted to do, so. Let's see how long it takes to get this survivor match. That's not too bad. What, two minutes? That's fine. That's not a bad wait time. Don't get me wrong, killer instant games are the best wait time. At least 22 tourists are killed in Pakistan due to being stuck in their cars in a heavy snow in pack. What? Huh? Freezing temperatures in Pakistan? Whoa. Whoa. Did I play an offering? No. Yeah, altruism.
Pay attention to the killer's red stain. Mm. But not if it's the Huntress. That's just nasty. Oh, look. It's a generated. We're going to keep him generating. I could use some healing. Oh, Bill, you're so loud. Might be time to uh, reconsider your life choices, Bill. I haven't had a skill check, had to hit a skill check in a long time. Still haven't. This has got to be over with by now. Nobody's going for her? I am.
They've been using up some pallets on this map, boy. Protection hit, bitch. Look at me hitting skill checks again. No dead heart? Mm. That's two saves. I gotta get one more off the hook. Fang. Me love you, DJPX, DJPX, and 991.
<laughs> Marcel, what's up? <laughs> Get away from me, hag! <laughs> How's it going, Marcel? <laughs> poor, Bill, poor hag! Poor Bill! <laughs> Oh, poor hag. <laughs> Dang it. I need to get one more unhook. I used her too hard. <laughs> you think so? I needed to get three people in one. Uh, I need to get three people unhooked safely. I gotta play another game with them. <sighs> oh. oh, you did? How'd that go? They're fun, aren't they? Wee! Wee! You two are the only ones left. What are you waiting for? Yeah, we knew Ruin Undying. Barbecue and Corrupt. Yep. Alright, I gotta play one more. Yeah, so how'd the first stream go? So tasty. Jackson, what's up, bro? Oh, yeah. It takes a bit to get your uh, settings up where they need to be. Um, learning your bit rate and your output and all that. It takes some getting used to, some adjusting. And again, you know, it's based on your internet. It's based on your system. It's based on your provider, all that fun stuff. Bro, what's going on? Bad headspace? That shit's no good. That shit's never good. What's up?
Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, you gotta sort that out. That could be something in your settings. I don't know what you use for a streaming software, but that could just be something in your settings. Usually, when that it, you know when that used to happen to me, I would check my bit rate, my uh, my uh, IP. My I'd do a speed test. Jackson, what's up, dude? What? 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 Whoa. Yeah, I use OBS too, Marcel. What's going on, brother? Talk to a fella. Look, brother, no matter how bad it is, it's not that bad, believe me. I've been in that situation. I've been that low before. I've been that low before. And I can tell you from personal experience, I'm happy that I didn't do that. So, um, just uh, hit me with it, brother. What's up? Marcel, I know you can't see what Jackson's saying because you two are on different platforms. He's on YouTube. Um, you're on Twitch. I'm running Restream, so I'm talking to somebody you can't see. Same with you, Jackson. I got Marcel on Twitch, so. Listen. No, man, listen. You can absolutely do something about that that can help them. For sure. You know, what you're thinking won't. It ain't going to help. And certainly isn't going to help you, brother. And if there's anybody at all that we know of that can help you to understand that shit, it's Dave. You know what I mean? He can kind of put you in the mind of both of them. You know what I mean? And help you, especially if, even if it's just your daughter. Yeah, but realize Dave's been through that, bro. He's been through that. He went through that for a long time. My big, the biggest advice I can give you, man, is get in touch with him, dude. No matter how you gotta do it, get in touch with him. Because he can put you in their mindset. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I get it, man, but listen. Like I, like I said, you can... Well, then you know what you do? Just... <clears throat> take a step away from it real quick. If it's... You know what I mean? Because that's a sign that you got to just give yourself a few minutes away from it to kind of really 
understand what you're dealing with, man, because I know it's a shock. I'm sure it's a shock, but I'm serious. You really gotta get a hold of Dave. Like, he knows this stuff, man. He he went through it personally himself. He can tell you where they're at. He can tell you what they're thinking. You know what I mean, dude? And it can give you the best chance at helping them while helping yourself. So if that's where you're at, man, just take a step away from it and just give yourself a chance to, you know, come down from the shock of it. But, um, you know, don't, don't do anything. Where's the hit registration there, DVD? Where's the uh, hit recognition there, bud? Well, I mean... I know that. I understand that's a tough position to be in, because... I mean... I'm kind of... That's kind of how it goes with me like right now you know with you know when my mother passed away when my father passed away you know my sister's like oh i want to take care of it and blah 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 and then it got to be too much for her and then you know so i took it on for both of them so i can understand that kind of pressure um you know, but I mean, it can't just be, you know, there's got to be other people in the family that you can talk with, too. And, you know, get some help with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just get some support with it. I mean, at the very least, I mean, if you don't want to fucking deal with the ex, at least, you know, it, you know try to help the daughter you know what i'm saying get her away from that shit because people do get off that shit they do recover from it dave's a prime example you know there's a lot of people that have done that and they didn't do it by themselves you know they had friends they had family helping them along the way support groups all that it's you know what i mean you can get a lot of help you can get a lot of that burden taken off of you Anytime I'm here, you can always get a hold of me to vent, bro. You can always come to me to just vent for a bit and, um, you know, relieve some of that stress and relieve the pressure. You know, sometimes, you know, and I think that might be the way with most every family is there's always that one person that everybody leans on.
So you just got back together four months ago with your ex? I know, man. I... I know. You know, when I lost control of, you know, the relationship with my kid's mother, it sucked. I know how that feeling goes. Um, I, I struggled for a long time myself. You know, again, it put me in a really low place to, like, basically to where you are right now, what you're thinking. Now, obviously, I didn't have the same, you know, things to try to cope with. I mean, drug addictions it's hard to look at it's hard to watch especially your kids go through that i can't even imagine i can't imagine i'm not going to sit here and say i understand because i i can't i can't understand um but but listen man there you know you <clears throat> i know it may seem cliche but you know you do have to have you, you can't appreciate the good stuff without having some bad stuff and i know this is really bad but i mean Maybe, you know, you just got to possibly just get some help, man, from the, from some of your extended family, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, just talk to some friends close by to you. Talk, you know, talk to some family and see. I don't know where you're at with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what kind of support system you have. You know, we never really talked about stuff like this before, brother. I can tell you this, brother, you know, if you feel like they're slipping through, man, you can, you know, it's, you've put in a lot of work already to, you know, to get back into your daughter's life and, you know, don't try not to give up just yet, man. You know what I'm saying? You've put in so much work already. And it may just be that little extra bit of work that you got to do to make the next 50 years go by perfectly you know what i'm saying bro don't be sorry for that that's what friends are for and i'll always be that you know what i'm saying you ain't dumping by all means you can stop in here anytime and talk to me man you ain't you ain't bothering me with this You ain't bothering me at all, brother. Not at all. Not at all. And I'm telling you, man, like I said, if I... Bro, I'll get Dave in here. Honestly. Yeah, man. That's... We are, brother. We are. Yeah. Fucking guy at work. They want me to go to New Mexico next week. I'm telling them no. Yeah, no, it's understandable, man. Something like that will definitely bring stuff like that back up. It's understandable.
And that's not easy shit to go through, dude. I, I, again, I can't even imagine. Bro, really, man, I'm telling you right now. You got a friend in me, brother. I know you got a friend in Dave. So, you know, I know it's, I know this shit is tough, man, but listen, I'm here for you to talk with anytime. And I'm sure Dave feels the same way. I would, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's in Virginia. Helping his um, mother-in-law get moved in over that way. But who knows? Well, fucking speak of the devil. I was just talking about you, dude. Being in Virginia, helping your mother-in-law move into her new joint. That shit's fucking freaky. Stuck in Virginia. It's iced up up here, too, bro. It's all iced up. I had an eighth inch of ice on my car. Um... But Jackson, yeah, man. I mean, here's the man right here. He knows about this shit, dude. Like I said, he lived it. And he had a great support system, man. And and here he is, man. Here he is right now. So this is the guy right here that can put you into their minds. What their thinking is. You know what I mean? And what the best way would be to help them, you know, help them both. and you caught up on the chat, my brother. Damn right. No matter how good we think we have it, there's always something in the background waiting to just drop a load of shit on our shoulders at the... F Fucking beautiful right there. Well, how'd the move go, Dave? I mean, was it smooth enough for you down that way? I'm sure it was like about an eight-hour drive. While we're uh, waiting for Jackson's message to come through. You're almost in the same mindset? What's up, bro? All 
I'm passing up that shit to go to New Mexico. I ain't going. I got too much shit going on around here. Jackson, man. There he is. All right. He's a typing man. Bro, my sister had her addiction problems when she was younger. Getting kicked out of the house didn't help her. Falling out of a fucking tree and breaking her neck and having to have one of those fucking halos on for four months, laying in a hospital bed, didn't do it. She went to jail several times. She went through that boot camp shit for, through jail. It took her a lot of effort, a lot of time. To finally get off that shit. Matter of fact, Dave, I think I remember one time I came by your house. I was coming through there, coming back from somewhere. I can't remember what it was, but I swung by unannounced. And I can remember the wife helping you get, you know, when I, I, I was knocking on the door. And, and uh, you know, I heard I heard her say, come on in, or, you know, the door's open or something like that. And she was basically helping you through the house. And I, I don't know if that was one of the times that you were just struggling, sick, going through withdrawal. I don't know, man. Dude, I never knew you had this problem. You hid this shit from me for a long time. And I guess you hid it pretty well for me because we lived apart for a while. And we just, we didn't physically hang out as much as we used to. So, but... Yeah, and I don't know what it is about that shit, bro, that just grips people and doesn't, and just won't let them go. It kills so many fucking people, man. It is such, it is a, a careless, heartless uh, fucking drug, man. It doesn't care who it hurts or kills. I don't know who fucking created this shit, but I'm hoping to God they're burning in hell with a fucking hot poker stuck up their ass coming through their fucking testicles and into their mouth. And Dave, that's fucking saying something right there. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, one of those things that can explain why it's so damn hard to get away from.
That's crazy to think. Yeah, it's exactly what I was thinking, my man. You know, David, I was telling him, too, that you were the one. You were the guy. If there was anybody I ever knew, you were the guy to get him inside their heads and understand what their, you know, what their thoughts are, what, what their mindset is, you know, what they're going through, and, you know, maybe give him some kind of insight on how to, you know, help them you know, get them to want to help themselves get away from it. Oh, Jesus, bro. Is she good? Jackson, I'm telling you, it, it's a lot of work, man. It, it's a lot of work for somebody in your position. And, you know, to be... To be the entire family's, you know, rock. I, It's not easy. It's not. You know... Again, it's not it's not going to be easy with what you're trying to accomplish with them. I know it's not.
Gax him in anytime. You got any time, bro. Feelings mutual, brother. It is. And if you need something and I'm on here, man, just jump in. Let me know, bro. You're on the exact right track, bro. I'm dead hard. How the fuck did he get healed? Yeah! <laughs> Look at all those gents popping. Pop, 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 Come back here anytime you need, dude. Just do those things you were said you were gonna do. Absolutely the right fucking thing to do, my man. Absolutely the right fucking thing to do. Smokes. You know, calm the nerves a bit. And get the temptation out of the house. To do anything that nobody wants to see you do. Get farm, bitch. No! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
God damn, he tunneled me hard. Yeah, at least he got off me when I got pulled off the hook the last time. Oh, Jesus, I wouldn't have gotten out. He went straight to the door, though. And then I just dead hearted by him. Yes, I did. All right, let's go into here. Oh, so it looks like you're not driving back till tomorrow, brother. That's what it sounded like to me, my man. And that is a feels bad. That is a feels bad. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm stuck there. Yeah. Man. No computer. I can't imagine what you're going through, man. <laughs> Bro, there was one game I had earlier in this stream. Running Lethal Pursuer. And, um... So, Lethal Pursuer, I saw three of them. I went towards them. I whacked this David with a hatchet coming around the corner. He just stopped and DC'd. Because it was right in the beginning of the match. I just went straight to him. He just... He took a hatchet to the head. I downed him. And then he DC'd. Oh, my. Get it? Get it? You're stuck there all night? You ain't gonna be able to leave till tomorrow morning, so you might as well. <sighs> oh my. Went against a four-man the other day. Oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? Is it dope with Undying? I got to look at Hex Blood Favor. Is that the one that blocks the windows and shit? I'll take a look at it after this match. And I gotta go up and make a cocktail anyway. So no New Mexico trip for me. I'm staying. Uh, I'm staying home. I got too much to do around here. My kids got a little tiny medical per surgical, bit of a surgical procedure to go through. Huh? Ha! Ah! 
Thank you for the free pallet. Yeah, keep circling the... Go ahead. Keep circling it. Keep circling the hook. You big stupid. Now Claude's gonna go healer. Dead hearted too soon, Mama Sita. Since Leon wants to be up there being a dick, use your DS. <laughs> I faked them into the DS again. Come on, let's just keep putting hooks up. Let's go! You big stupids. Doink. <laughs> You're my stack, honey. <laughs> you couldn't bully the killer, so you all DC, you big wet willies. Bully this Whoa! killer because we're bad. So we're gonna DC and take a penalty, and we'll play the next one where we can bully the killer. Because we can't bully this huntress on this map. It's too hard. <laughs> oh god, eat a bag. Eat a whole bag of them.
Well, that's too funny. Oh, all right, on to the next. That was funny. That was funny right there. Let's check out Hex Blood Favor. Let's see what that. Uh, Got to remind myself what that does. <laughs> that was funny. That was too funny. Jackson, brother, that match was for you, my man. Yeah, it was for you, my man. Hex Blood Favor. Let's look for Hex Devour Huntress. Hex Play Thing. Um, let's go to Hex Blood Favor. Is that a... No. Hex blood favor. <sighs> Who is Hex blood favor on? Hex crowd control. Did the restore hysteria eruption? Coup de Gras, Horde of Oppression, Undying, Blood Favor. Blood Favor. Hex, Blood Favor. Injuring a survivor will call upon the enemy to allow pallets from being pulled down within a 24 meter tear radius of the survivor location for 15 seconds. Okay. Yeah. That's a pretty dope perk. As long as you don't slug. As long as you don't slug. <clears throat> that is pretty dope. That is good. Can we get Lethal Pursuer? Gotcha. You missed something funny as hell, dude. A three-man survivor friends came in, and they wanted to bully me. They wanted to bully me so bad that when they couldn't bully me, they DC'd all three of them.
Dude, that was sick, wasn't it? That was sick. I almost pissed my pants. I almost peed myself. I almost peed myself there. I did almost pee myself there. I ain't gonna lie. I need a cocktail. Don't let me... No, I'm gonna cancel this. I need a cocktail. I will be back in 98 seconds. Because I'm not wasting time. I'm telling you, I'm pulling for Jackson. I'm pulling for his daughter. She is, man. I'm telling you, she really is. This. I mean, what other killer can you just lob a hatchet and get lucky? And the joy you get from landing it on somebody's face just out of nowhere. They don't see it coming. No terror radius. Next thing you know... You're catching a hatchet right to your mouth. <laughs> oh, hell no. She is so much fun, man. Have you ever seen me play a killer so much? I've never played a killer this much before, ever. I've never ever played a killer this much. This may be my last one. <clears throat> Might be. But I'll tell you, man, it was... The Giants kept the game close. Well, I should say, the defense kept the game close right up until the end. I don't know if that was by design just to get some ratings on the game, because who the hell was going to watch that game? Who the hell was going to watch that game? My neighbors went to that game. I felt bad for them because they paid good money to go see a, a freaking horrible team. And Gettleman has to go. If he is not fired this year, so help me God, I'll start rooting for the fucking Cowboys. That hurt, that hurt just to say.
we go. I've already played one Silent Hill match. That's all I should have to play for the entire month. One. in the shed and behind the window value here I'm probably breaking my totem Jesus. Bill, you big stupid. Do I have to go for some kind of a three gen here? Ah! You big stupid. She probably is. Artist is way up there, dude. I don't disagree with that one bit. She's so much fun. I've had fun with her.
Get out of here, Bill. Stay on the ground, bitch. Thank you for standing next to a tree for me. I need to get barbecue value, so I'm going to stay right here in the corner. stack and I know Bill's not here because he saved Kate now he's way over here away from that totem No dead heart for you, Bill? I wasn't touching Dwight because I know Dwight had bar time on him. Because I'm not a big stupid. I'm just building up hooks. Lullaby's gone. They were hitting skill checks. It's a rock, Bill. There you go, Bill. Use that DS. Get those 200 points. Ah! 
Thought I'd have gathered that one. Matter of fact, we'll play one game of artists, then we'll call it a night. What they need to do with her, though, is they've got to make it so that she can aim her birds up or down. Because right now she's she's handicapped on a map like that, where you can't you can't protect the map in the temple. You can't protect the map or the gen. You can't protect the gen. Um, yeah, I wasn't trying to be a dick. You can't protect the gen in the temple. Um, you can't protect gens on the game. I mean, you have to change levels. So that's a huge handicap for her. Um, what are some other two level maps? Oh, forget it. Silent Hill? Forget it. You're screwed on Silent Hill because you don't get much barbecue value on Silent Hill because the map is so small. Um, you literally have to hook right in the far corner. You know, you, you have to cook, hook directly on the corner of a map um, to get any real barbecue value on Silent Hill. Um, so forget that noise. Uh, what else? I, if anything, dude, they need to help her in some ways. She has to be able to elevate. She has to be able to change planes with her birds. They need to make it so that she can aim them up in the fucking sky if she wants. It shouldn't just be on a level plane. They, and the fact that they didn't think about that when they made her. And maybe they did. They just said, fuck it. But that's broke. You know, you can't protect you can't protect the church gen on Cro on uh Crow's Pren. Mm, yeah, they've been they were talking about that because she is map wide. But um here's the thing with that. If she hits someone with her birds from across the map, she doesn't injure them. It's not like a huntress where if she hits you with a hatchet from across the map, you're injured. All it is is a nuisance. You have birds on you for whatever it is, the 12 seconds it takes to get them off. You know what I mean? I don't think they need to make her 110. Um, I think survivors just need to adjust to her. I think she's strong. But you have to adjust to her. Like I was saying before we talked about this, it was, um, you know, if you're going to loop her, you loop her till she drops a bird. And while she's dropping a bird, you move to the next tile. You know what I mean? You can't just figure Don't sit there and think, oh, I got to figure out a way to how to avoid the bird. You can't. You know what I mean? You can try to, you know, deeker into throwing the birds, but. It's you just move to the next tile. As soon as she starts laying the bird on that window, on that pallet, use that slowdown that she's in that she's on, move to the next tile. And if anything, you're not you end up not using the pallet, right? So that pallet stays on that tile. You know, it just if people played more like that and they just gave up on a loop, just like, all right, I'll move to the next one, you're getting that time while she's slowed down. To just move to the next loop. So. That's my feeling on it. I don't. I don't necessarily think she needs to be nerfed much. But. 
I don't know, maybe take her down to two birds, two sets of birds instead of three. So she can't apply like all, you know, as much cross map pressure. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't play her enough. But. You can't have dead hard because you already used sprint burst. I don't know. Nah, let's put you downstairs, Mama Sita. Went over. They got her still in the basement. Is she going to hit second stage? DC. Oh, the birds missed her. the middle of the map. I'm not going to get much. No, I don't either really, dude, to be honest with you. What the fuck's happening? My internet just went to shit. My internet just went to shit.
And she started healing herself, so she doesn't have, uh, yes, even if she had it, she doesn't have it. Gotcha, bitch. Little Miss, come wave at me and I'll follow you around. Take it. Ten hooks. Yeah, I absolutely don't blame her. No one went and got her. No one. And I wasn't near there. Nowhere near there. Nowhere near there. Now you get 5k for escaping, so you did nothing. Y'all did pretty much nothing. Together. I don't know how she ended up at 341 points. Oh, she DC'd after she died on hook. Well, brother. I'm gonna dip, brother. I'm gonna dip. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know why Discord popped up. I don't know what happened to my screens, but uh, something weird went on. But anyway, we got three kills on that. Yeah, Crow Mama is strong. No doubt about it. There's no doubt Crow Mama's strong. Does she need a nerf? Ugh. I'm on the fence, brother. I'm on the fence. I really am. Mm, I really am. But I'm going to run up, have a little dinner, get my shit ready for work tomorrow. I got to go early tomorrow. Got to get there a little earlier than usual because I got a new guy training, a new guy starting. And he's taking over the. Uh, the department that I've been having to lead for the last four months because we haven't had a lead there. We needed a boss in that joint. But the boss in that joint is only making twenty four fifty an hour, so maybe twenty five. I'm not sure. I say only. Like that's not much, but Um, really appreciate you coming in talking with Jackson with me, brother. I know that, uh, you know, I know you were busy doing shit and I just, I knew if there was anybody that could talk to him about that topic, you know, and help him get into the mind of his daughter and his mom that, and her mom that, you know, you would, you would be able to help him get into their minds and understand what they're dealing with and, you know, maybe help them better than I could. He's a good dude. I don't, you know, I hate to see bad shit happen to good people. I'm hoping he gets through this. Mm. But again, thanks, brother. Hit me up, man. Hit me up on text or something. Have a safe tri trip back tomorrow. Hoping shit clears up enough for you to be able to do it. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, my man. To quote my best friend.